What up folks? This is me showing you know how I changed my pond. I turned a little kiddie pool which I think is about 800, 600 gallon I forgot into a pond. Uh, this is how I've been changing it for about nine months. As you can see I got some plants in there and stuff but being that the direct sunlight hits this oh yeah I got to clean this one time a week it's kind of filthy now because I'm changing the water you know uh, it, it's definitely filthy now because I changed the water in here uh, you can't see it if I could show it to you you know I have six uh, Florida guards in here a pair of uh, peacock bass about 14 14 and the male is about the female is about 14 the male is about 16 I got them in here for about two months finally gotten them eaten uh, the the Florida guards are eaten I had a uh, four pairs of no I had four uh, uh, other stuff in here I can't remember the name of it right now but what I have in here is a couple of uh, Texas cichlids green Texas cichlids some Mayan cichlids big nice Two 14 inches and some little ones about five or eight of them uh, some Jack Dempsey's I got in here I got a two three tilapias in here decent sized tilapias in here and some jewel fish I have in here everybody's doing great everybody's doing wonderful this is how I change my water system though you know a lot of people you know that comes over to the house talks about it and say oh you can't do that bullshit I don't know for everybody else but this works for me and this saves me a ton of money on water so my filter system is a gravity felt three holes right there gravity felt and it's fed into this bucket that I dig a hole in and bury this 55 gallon bucket with a pump in it and I have a filter socks in it that I have to change I want to say every three to four days and the filter socks is I got it off eBay for about 30 bucks it is 34 inches or 33 inches long you know long so and then you can see the head so it's all the way down in the bucket and I have four of those well I just take them out you know put them in a bucket wash them all put them in a bucket and then when when I have when I have three of them I just throw them in the wash and no soap and you know that take care of that and I've been doing this for about I want to say close to nine months seven eight nine months and this is how I've been changing you know that I just did that I just did about a month and a half ago because I wanted more suction my my pump was getting clogged up and I had to clean it you know a lot of time so I wanted the gravity fed really suck more out of it gravity fed sucks way more out of it and it is you know I'm going through the filter socks I'm going to get another filter socks uh, eventually what I'm going to do is put another barrel right over that side over there and link them so it will basically comes in here get filters between two socks and then flow over to the barrel flow over to the barrel which I'll have all my meteor and all that stuff in there and then it will get pumped back into here which you know as you can see this is where it pumps through and pump right back into the tank uh, again this has been working for me about nine months right now I just you know I'm, I'm letting the water drain out this is how I change my water 
so as you can see some of the water has been sucked out sucking that out to right there to get the water out and I let this sit probably overnight oh, I almost fell on my ass let this sit for probably that overnight but all of this water all of this water is run directly out of my pond I have a, a nice receding whatever older in the in the backyard that I just put my pump in it the pump that's in there is a 2100 gallon an hour pump I think either 21 or 2500 gallon I put it in a small bucket put some mesh around it and seal it and just throw it in there so nothing gets in the pump it kind of filters out a lot of the stuff and it just pumps up to the pipe in I plug the pump in you know all the way I have a, a core that's about 200 feet I don't know where it's at so I had to use this one it's a little bit smaller but I just you know I got a couple of them I just let it run all the way through all the way through and let it pump in to the pond most of the stuff I'm getting rid of like a lot of this table and that thing there I'm getting rid of and I'm gonna just clear the pond up eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pond and dig a hole and just drop it into it you know I have the the plywood over it because when it gets cold I did this around the time it was getting cold you know it was over here as you can see the grass is dead over here it was over here and on the tree and I got a lot of leaves on it the tree but the water stayed cleared that's why I had that that top on it the water stayed very clear over here because the tree was sheltering from directly sunlight so the water wasn't that bad and everything but now I just you know I think I might move it back over here to the tree and you know that will be that for that but in the meantime it's up there by the house and you know I have encased it into the the plywood so what I did was my heater system that I have you can see a, a video I have up there how I created that heater was working perfectly fine I mean rain everything the water will go in cold come out hot you know and then I realized the water was evaporating too fast out of the bucket so I put the bucket inside I put the bucket inside off the middle of the pond oh there they are can you see them I don't know if you, I don't know, they probably only need somewhere hiding the peacock basket. Oh, they, he just went on the, on the tree right there. I don't know if you can see his tail. Uh, I don't know if you can see one right there. Anyway, but I put the, 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 um, the pump and I put the, the pump in the water, I put the, the heater right here in the middle, and it basically stays filled all the time. The hot water comes out, you know, the water comes out, everything, and it kept my pond at a nice degree through the winter for all of this to happen. I've never done it with a peacock bath, I just got the peacock bath, so we're going to see what happens. And it was great. It, it worked out perfectly fine for me. You know, so everything I got a breather. Uh, Texas cichlid, she's going at it again. The first batch, I don't know what happened to it. I didn't worry taking it out, I just left them. I um put a couple of um stuff in here I got some mosquito fish in here whole bunch of mosquito fish I have in here stupid ass they get again sucked in by this the, the, the sump and the 
you know, but again, it's gravity fed, so when, when I change the filter socks a lot of times, nine times out of ten, I'll find them still alive and I'll just put them back in here. But I got a couple of things in here that I am, you know, proud to say they're surviving. It's doing real good, the plants, uh, yeah, my bad on the plants. I'm going to re redo the plants and put uh, two or three, the plants is just plants in buckets, small buckets, and I just cut them to let water go in when it is up, and as you can see, it's overgrown, overgrown into, you know, nice, but I kind of let that one kind of, yeah, my bad. It's still alive. I'm going to take care of it, cut, cut up what I need, cut up, and bring it back to where I need it to be, like that one, and this one. So, yeah, this is just, you know, showing you how I did my pond. Some people keep saying, oh, you can't do that, you can't take the water out, the, out of there because it might be, you know, bacteria in there, this and that. I treat this damn pond with a couple of different stuff. Once all of this is going through, I treat this pond. And that's what happens when I treat this pond. A lot of the stuff I get out of here, I've not found anything that wasn't in here. In here. But it's, it's doing pretty good. The, the plywood, again, is to protect it from, you know, the cold wind. When it gets cold, the top right there, I'm about to take off because I can't cover it anymore because of the plant. So, it's just knocking my damn light. So, I'm going to take that off and leave it like this. I, uh, now, it's, it, it's, it's working pretty fine. Pretty good. I have everything running the way I wanted to. This used to be my first filter system. This little bucket here used to sit on the table and the pump pumps it up to the table and then you know it overflows to those three, four, four little holes that I had. Four little holes that I had. You know, it pump it, it worked it worked fine. But the problem with that filter sock system it was a seven inch with a four across and you know, I think it was seven yeah seven I had to be changing that every day forget that almost every day I was changing that thing you know forget that I didn't want to do that so I got me a, a filter socks I'm gonna go around to the garage and show you what the filter socks look like another shot of the pond doing pretty good doing amazing uh, it's hot as shit right now in Florida Tampa I, I mean where I'm at in Florida Tampa area. It's hot as shit. But don't get it wrong. This thing has been through some cold, cold weather. Uh, and yeah, I'll show you the rest. My garage. Big empty tank. Nothing in it. Just a bunch of mosquito fish. I was breathing uh, my lower fell down in there. And I still not got it. <laughs> I was breeding a couple of uh, these guys here. I had a whole bunch of them in there. And they got to about, I want to say about an inch. And I sold every last one to one person. Because he wanted to... He, he was creating a, a pond in his backyard and he wanted all that. And so I sold probably about 400 of them to him. Those guys there. See how beautiful they are? Yeah. Before, I, before those, I had Texas cichlids. I had breeding Texas cichlid in there. My son is going to get me slap the shit out of him. You know. But this is what we came in here for. So let me show it to you. So this is what the filter socks looks like. That is actually the filter socks. You see how big that filter socks is? Look at it. 
you see how big that filter sox is? I think it's 36 inches. 36, 33, somewhere in the 30s. I know it ain't 30. But yeah, that filter socks every two days. Every two or three days I change this thing. I change this thing. Every two or three days I change this thing. And yeah. Sorry, my garage is kind of messy right now. But yeah, I, you know, I was going to do some more breeding. But I've decided to redo my garage again. As always, these are just keeping the damn rocks alive. They're not even good. A lot of these guys. I got a lot of these guys. Fire mounts. A lot of them. They breed like it ain't nothing. I just let them eat the baby. And I got a whole bunch of those guys there. See them? Them snails. I got tons of those guys. Where's mommy and daddy? There's one. And the other one is somewhere around here. I don't know. Somewhere around here. But yeah, they don't take that much to to get that big little light. And that's it. But yeah, that's how my pond works. You know, straight out of straight out of the lake into the pond uh, overnight setting and it cleans out everything out of my pond close it back up and it goes back on I do this I try to do this every week I'm not gonna say I do it every week I'm more in the two every two weeks I do this you know every week I know the filter get changed every time it needs to every single time it needs to like clockwork the filter the filter gets changed every time it needs to soon as it gets dirty or I think I'm out here doing yard work or whatever which I haven't been doing but you know mowing the lawn it gets changed I don't see if you can see all them little guys on the top there's a better shot of the peacock Ah, whatever. But yeah, it's just cleaning and doing this thing right now. So I'm gonna leave it for two hours. And then when I come back, you know, tomorrow morning it should already cleaned out, scrub the pond off and everything. And this is just the way I created my pond. You know, my above ground pond. I didn't buy anything. I didn't seal up anything. I just, buy the, 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 the pond liner or whatever. I didn't buy none of that. I just got this off eBay. I think it was like $100. Everything came with it. The filter sucked. Because uh, it was a little full of pool and I just did my own thing. Again, uh, Peacock Bass, Jack Dempsey, Texas Cichlids, Mayan Cichlids, Florida Gars, and uh, I had Oscars in here. That's what I wanted to say. Oscars. I had Oscars in here. They two jumped out. Two jumped out, and the other two just didn't do too good. They lasted about two weeks. They were eating, start eating. The little little fishes in here, they were going at the little fishes in here, and they just they just stopped. And that was them. I'm gonna try them again because it's hotter now, and they should have time to get used to the water and everything else. And you know, that uh, 100 gallon bin that's right there, that's what I put everything in. I put them in there, leave them in there with a pump for two days to get used to the water. And you know, after they get used to the water, I see they swimming around. They have calm down a little bit not stressing so much then I put them in here and other from those fishes that died he's coming up for air watching you know they are they're doing pretty good everybody's doing pretty good everybody's doing great and yeah the water's kind of filthy because I just scrubbed the bottom and the side as you can see 
and you know everything is turning around this water got it pushing doing its thing but uh, probably tomorrow morning it should be ready to be plugged back up start doing its thing again change the filter and everything else and it will it was you know again it's it's, it's working very fine I'm just gonna grab my scissors in a little bit and just cut these things off you know cut each one of these things off trim the tree up a little bit and yeah I only got um right now I don't have any other live plants in here I am going to put some other live plants in here probably about another two or three buckets but again I put them on bricks standing up standing up so I can the fish have somewhere to swim through and I won't block up too much take up too much room if I do when I do put some I'll probably take out some of the the, the, the little ones that's in there the little parts that's in there I'm probably just take two of those out to put three of these back in three of the big ones back in and let them do their thing but yeah pond doing very good great I should say and my water changing system I just take it out take it out of there let it run right back in there this only comes on when the water goes really high as you can see the damn ants all over my damn place I couldn't even spray today because I'm doing this but I am going to get those suckers dead you know they're moving but I'm gonna get them suckers and yeah I just do this let it sit on the grass let it sit on the grass and it runs out for a couple of hours it basically water my grass while it's doing its thing so it comes in turns around do its thing do its thing do its thing and then gets out gets out gets out gets out and then go back out to the water you know so the good water coming in and then yeah lay down the street this but a nice update on this pond my heater I'm gonna redo the heater and I'm gonna make a video how I did the heater and show because uh, a couple people said they tried it and it didn't work for them because it kept melting through the plastic of course it's gonna melt through the plastic the, the bucket cover of course it's a heat rod there's a step that I didn't show that I did so I'll show that and you know we'll take it from there all right man be safe and thanks y'all for watching give a thumbs up if y'all like it let me know what can I change what can, can I change and what should I do if y'all got any suggestions I'm always up for suggestions you know anything to make my life easier shoot all right man later